He's ready. He's ready. Pure cycling nutrition. Sick rental bikes. Chocolate, iron brew, Harry Bows. Boost. That's a mountain bike thing, isn't it? Same width, boost Take standard. <laughs> 100 mil of genius. So here we are, Dalby Forest. I'm here with Harry, here with Nick, and we're gonna ride all new trails today. Spent too much time at Hamster Lee, we thought we'd dive out, experience a new trail center, starting off with the blue, because these guys are on uh, rental bikes, get used to them, and then onto the reds later on. Perfect day for it, not too hot, not too cold. Bike's working nice. Not for a day. Personally, I'm very disappointed you're not on the e-bike, Nick. Who am I gonna hold on to up the climb? I'm disappointed by not being on the e-bike at all. <laughs> about you seasoned mountain bikers out there but blue trails because they're so quick and you can trust there's nothing coming up too serious you can proper get your heart rate up 190 if you need training so uh well when you come to a place that you don't know what's around the next corner quite fun good practice especially considering a lot of the races that we'll end up doing we don't know the trails riding blind uh we didn't attend in that order where's harry just sending it. I feel like we've been here before, Nick. Huh? Because we have. Round two. Some of the reds. So for anyone who's interested in using this little guy, the Insta360, right on my seat post down near the wheel. And that's how I've been getting those rear facing shots. Makes the uh, trail video a little bit more exciting for people. Can switch the uh, point of view because it's so small. The battery life isn't very good. So I keep it in its case, which recharges it as I go uphill and then uh, put it down in its uh, little holster like this when I want to shoot some footage. I think it looks pretty good and it uh, levels the horizon as well. So that's why the wheel moves side to side. It looks pretty cool. Harry is so quick on the technical stuff. So I've been putting big efforts in on the uphills so I can get away from him, get a head start. Whee! Exactly, I make you both hold on to you. Mountain biker from Switzerland. Why have you come over to Dalby Forest? Ah, I've come to ride with you lovely chaps and uh, see the skills. good old blighty woodlands again. <laughs> it's too easy with an uplift. Uh, I think they should install one here. Yeah, they really should. <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's an opening for a business there. That was great, that first little red one. A couple of naughty drops at the start. You just oh, made, you made them look cheeky. flat. 
There's naughty. Cheek, cheeky little drops. Yeah. Naughty little drops. Look, put the seat up, it spanks your ass. Yeah, let's blame it on the uh, lack of droppers. Yeah, well, that's uh, <laughs> my favourite excuse. <laughs> Behind schedule, we've got to drop these rental bikes back. We're using the escape. This is the best bit. Well, okay. buttery smooth. Do you think if you ate a GoPro, you get an insight into your digestive tract? Like oh, a... like wireless from your phone? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think you yeah. need a light in there as well. What about a light as well? Yeah. When was the last time you, I mean, have you ever eaten a whole raw onion? Nah. Oh, oh my god, Oh, that was sick. <laughs> so that was Dalby Forest. A bit uh, different to Hammersley in that the trails are much, much longer. Definitely a lot less separation and a lot less time spent on gravel tracks. Like that red route, we were just like trail after trail after trail, which was great. Good chance to get some uh, uphill stuff in as well. A couple of quite technical, really steep bits, which Nick loved. Nice cows. Massive horses. Massive horses, yeah. Didn't finish the full red trail, so maybe we've got to come back soon. 16.57. Oh, that was three that minutes. We've got three more minutes to do. Oh, oh shit, what should we do? Let's go back up again, come on. Let's... So back home now, what a fantastic day at Dalby Forest. I would thoroughly recommend going there and trying it out for yourself if you're in reaching distance. Granted, we only did the blue and the red trails and there's definitely some harder stuff out there. There's like a black loop and a bit they use for the XC World Champs one year. But I think the general consensus from people, including someone who commented on yesterday's video, or the day before yesterday, uh, it's much more cross-country oriented than a lot of the other locations here in England. Um, Hamsterley, there's definitely much bigger features, even though they're labeled as red. The stuff we did today, you had to ride to get over it. Like there was a lot of uphills, halfway through the trails, they're really, really long. So if you're looking for like a step up from riding gravel, this is the kind of place you probably wanna go uh, as a natural progression. There was a few slightly bigger features on the red trails, but they're usually right at the start. And Nick was saying that they often put stuff that's a lot more technical right at the start of trails to put people off if they're not confident to ride it, just to reduce the chances of there being an accident. There's definitely more to do, so we've gotta go back soon. Thank you as always for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.